Hello, this is Artem Barsky, co-founder of Datirium. Today we will talk how to do motive analysis. This is a very useful tool and you can use it to make sure that your uh, chipsec or cut and run has identified the islands of the right transcription factor. You can also use it to identify uh, whether there is enrichment of transcription factor binding sites in, uh, for example, attack peaks which appear after some kind of treatment. So to do this, first we need to make sure that uh, motif analysis pipeline is attached to our project. So we go to uh, edit project, here are these three dots, uh, go to the list of workflows and look for motif uh, analysis pipeline. So we are using uh, a pipeline based on Homer. So we need to put this check mark. After we have this check mark, we can go back to the project and find our chipsec. So remember, we we'll have already analyzed the B chip in uh, activated T cells. So we enter the sample and go to the peak calling tab. So here we have a lot of peaks. And we can uh, look at this table and save it by right-clicking and clicking export as Excel. After the file downloads, we can open it in Excel. So you will see a table like this. And uh, this shows you a list of uh, John B peaks nearby genes and uh, P and Q values. So we want to uh, be able to sort this. So we add filter and uh, let's sort on log 10, uh, actually log 10 Q value. So we want descending so that we have strongest peak on top. And uh, we also want to remove uh, peaks associated with chromosome M. Okay, so now we have uh, top peaks and we can uh, select uh, the peaks, uh, for example, that for chipsec I would do top 1000 peaks if you are uh, comparing uh, different differential accessibility in attack, you can select all peaks, whatever you like for your experiment. So you select the like, coordinates of the peaks, chromosome, start and end and copy them, open new tab and paste them. Now you can save uh, this tab as uh, tab delimited text file here uh, and uh, you give it a name and uh, save it as whatever you like. After you are done, I already have this file, uh, you can go back to side up. Inside up, we're going to, so here we go into the project, uh, we go to comparative analysis and select add new experiment. Here we select the pipeline, motive finding for uh, experiment short name, so motives in B. Uh, we attach the file which includes the coordinates of our peaks of interest. And click the upload button. We need to select uh, the database of motifs. So we want vertebrates. And you need to select the genome type human from, from which the coordinates came. Now, uh, I would like in this case to do de novo motive enrichment. Uh, it takes a long time, so by default it is off. Uh, and uh, we want to get both no, known and de novo motives. So, and I recommend to do it for chipsec so that you can be sure that your chipsec identifies peaks of your transcription factor. For uh, comparing, for example, a toxic results, you don't really need the novel peak calling. Now you can click Save Sample and wait for results. 
Okay, it took about 20-30 minutes and now motif search in uh, John Bpix is complete. Let's go and see the results. So I'm clicking on this experiment and uh, we it is loading and uh, here we actually just need to go to the files and we can look at uh, uh, known and known and de novo motifs of these HTMLs. So let's look at the known first. So uh, these are the motifs that are in HTML fix and as you can see here the motifs that we see are fra, dun and other motifs belonging to the AP1 family that are most enriched in the samples. So we uh, can see uh, p-value, very strong p-values. Uh, we can see uh, how many sequences, or target sequences have motifs and it's more than uh, background sequences, which are sequences around these peaks, and as well as uh, percentage of uh, sequences in uh, background and target. You can also uh, uh, go back and uh, in this case we can look at the de novo motifs. We are again going back to the samples and we click de novo HTML or it's also possible to look at uh, this GDIP file which will have both known and de novo motifs. Let's look at de novo. Okay, uh, so these are the motifs found in Nova, not by looking at the database. And uh, here we can see uh, these motifs and these are, these are best matches for these motifs. And as you can see here, the top motif with the highest p-value uh, to the minus 144 is uh, actually AP1 motif, which is shown here as fra1. Uh, the next motif, Gets motif, which combines the AP1, that has much uh, less significant P value. So this is uh, the end of our motif analysis. This is a very useful tool. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.